What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters? This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island on a gorgeous day. Damn, F. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't a gorgeous day down. It was rainy. I still went down to the pier. Kind of fun because we do have a hurricane that is out in the Gulf of Mexico. Keep an eye on it. Looks like it's going to be a nothing burger for us. I'm happy to say and that um, it's going to make landfall even north of Tampa, we shall see. And this is called my, I got a bullish, man, the XRP bulls are out in me today. My spidey senses are tingling. That ain't a bad thing. And then last night I called the pump about 11.30 last, uh, last night, put it in Twitter on the charts, it's like I've been saying for the last two days. It is so simple, it's like the ebbing flow of the tides, in and out, in and out, ain't a bad thing. So by 11.30 last night, we did get that bullish cross on the MACD on the one daily. And sure enough, this morning, we are at 54 cents and pumping, so excited to see that. And so, and yes, uh, so let's just say, do you want to dance? Or do you want to dance? Name that movie down below and the actor. It's a great one. Also one of my favorite all-time actors. I'm on day 19, 71 to go. Tomorrow, as they say, 20 days makes a habit. And indeed, that is so true. Thank you so much to everybody as we slowly grind towards 7,000 subscribers. Can be a lot of fun when we hit that number. Uh, so if indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you're feeling for Taco Tuesday. And you can follow me down below on Twitter. I have some fun stuff on there as well before the day is over. That's at XRP007. In the comments, got great comments. Wanted to dig down into them. Raphael says, this is our Jeff Bezos story. Love it. He says, we've had two, three, four years, depending upon how long you've been in this space, some even longer than that. Uh, and then we are going to all come out millionaires and billionaires. Just hold. Uh, be not shaken, not stirred, have diamond hands. We are close, my friends. Also, this is from Josie, says you are my favorite 007 player. He says, um, uh, love your layback style and your 007 grooming efforts, noted, thank you so much. And goes on to say, says, um, uh, you have the, you should be in the movie, says you have the X Factor. Um, I'm hoping to bring out more of that X Factor. I'm really hard trying to push the envelope <clears throat> to achieve some greatness. There's never too late to start a new chapter in your life. So I'm pushing the envelope. Hopefully you guys will be seeing more of the X Factor in the not too distant future. Uh, thank you. This is from Ray. He did shout out and reach back to me. He says, yes, you do have a big South Safari invite, my friend, coming from uh, out and down there in South Africa. Uh, thank you so much. It really gets me excited. So he says, all expenses are paid. And he says, uh, confirm that. And also he says, XRP, confirming XRP could surpass $10,000 in his humble opinion. That's that five-digit beautiful XRP. I 110% agree with you, Ray. Uh, this is from um, Crazy Arse Mama, which shall put it uh, PG rated. She says, light, love, and blessings. Um, that is good for the heart. Thank you so much. She says, this is so cool. This is what I love about this channel. Just digging down to all this little great backstories in it, about this. I was talking about the blue moon. Uh, she digs down a little bit deeper, says the double full moon. So we've had for this month a double full moon and a blue moon. As Pluto returns, and the last time this happened, you want to guess, you won't believe it. Talk about the uh, revolution in 1776. Don't believe it. It's true. Uh, Daniel from Georgia, my brother from another up there, he says that uh, Bloomberg came out and was talking about, hey, um, um, the U.S. courts have paved the way for a grayscale, the first BTC ETF huge news that's at first and also we're looking for blackrock could they get approved this week we'll be talking about that as well and then i said um what's up my xrp brothers from another and my cute xrp sisters if i didn't 
I got to always bring that in. I allegedly over uh, had some great stuff and I got one other video to watch about this, but he's talking about how home insurance will kill real estate. I do know that it's happening here in Florida. He says, but guess what? It's also happening in California just for no reasons that a couple of things are happening is one that just insurance rates are skyrocketing. So what might have been 6,000 for home in California is now 18,000. And then, so we are talking about $1,500 a month and he adequate, uh, you know, adequately says, hey, look, that's just in thin air. That's 1,500 a month, thin air, every single, 18 grand every single year just for insurance. Uh, really kind of staggering. It is happening here in Florida as well. There is a uh, economic ninja video. I'm in the midst of walking, uh, watching when I get back. So that is interesting though. Great article, by the way. This I will also be posting. I'll put it out there, put my heart on the sleeve and open for anything can happen in this space. So many great influencers, they they put it out there. They know that their uh, YouTube channels, their Twitter accounts can be closed. A great article, this is from High Wire, it says the next C-19 wave. Uh, is it the cover up? And it's a fantastic article that goes into the jab and the boosters, so on and so on. It's absolutely amazing. And then also makes me think of Ian here locally, uh, somebody here in the community commented and said that everybody got screwed by FEMA here in our town. I uh, could not agree with that as more. And then also, if you just see what's happening out in Atlanta, High, Hawaii with FEMA, there's stuff that just simply doesn't add up either. It's at its best corruption or more than likely a uh, uh, criminal in my humble opinion this is from michael branch turning on on a more exciting note michael branch over on twitter says that blackrock etf uh, bt spot um uh, is it imminent and he says why this is absolutely amazing he says and i will be talking about blackrock he says blackrock uh has a batting average on its approval try 99.8 percent no wonder they seem to be ruling the world along with Vanguard. It's absolutely stunning if you look at it. They're not on my favorite list. They're on my naughty list for Santa this year. So in the news, this is XRPDaily.com. The scoop says uh, Ripple ranked number one for central bank digital currencies, beating out Visa and Mars and MasterCard. Uh, don't believe it, it's true. And the crypto area, uh, this is really fantastic as well. She's talking about a, another um, a remittance company called uh, uh, Zago, uh, X-A-G-O, uses XRP for transaction and says, we are in and out of crypto, get this in seven seconds for a transaction. So in my humble opinion, when I see that <clears throat> undeniable, unstoppable, unbeatable Ripple XRP, know what you hold. And then when you contrast it the way it's happened over the antiquated uh, way of wire transfers, which can take up to five days, costs us between $25 and $50 because everybody has to get their cut. I've been, I've been train wrecked by this more than once now twice now in the last four years that have cost me money because of this outdated system. Emily uh, Yoshikawa, who is the VP of Corporate Strategy over at Ripple, she's in the news uh, a bit today on a number of different episodes. Uh, she's been with uh, Ripple since I think 2016. This is fantastic. This uh, video clip came out a year to two years. Keep that in mind. It's a year to two years old. She's saying that we are only two to three years away from global mass adoption. So back out the one to two years from now, maybe only 12 to 24 months away from mass adoption. Uh, so here is also how I feel. This is Brett Hill over on Twitter, uh, has a lot of following, about 10,000 followers, I believe, says XRP will lead alt season. Uh, settlement uh, is uh, just the beginning, and actually I can almost correct on that and say settlement will be the beginning. We did have clarity. Now we're waiting for settlement. We'll be talking about that, just coming right up. Uh, and he says, it's going to be like 2017, but much, much bigger. Okay, XRP. Um, this is trending over on Twitter, if you haven't noticed. XRP is at over 1 million posts and tweets up on Twitter. Unbelievable. Uh, this also comes out from, this is really great. I will have this clip on Twitter. If you haven't seen it, it's absolutely fascinating. It is from Mark Yusko. Uh, uh, he's talking about the elites, how they always have a plan. 
And if you say, if you realize that the elites own the world, that is the Rothschilds of the world, as well as BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, throw in there the controversial WEF, also referred to as the WTF, that he says, hey, these players, they see what's happening with um, uh, decentralized Bitcoin and so forth, and they want to fight back, right? Well, guess what? They don't, he says two observations, A, they don't fight fair, B, they never, ever lose. And he speculates, he says, did they realize how are we going to fight this? And they had this conclusion, XRP. Uh, could not agree. It's such a great clip. You haven't seen it. Just the expression on his face. Probably my second one best up to uh, Jimmy Valley and uh, James Rule, his expression, uh, hearing how uh, XRP could reach 10,000 and 35,000. Uh, they are undefeated. Says, yeah, they are undefeated. And uh, and so, yeah, my humble opinion, game, set, match goes to Ripple and XRP. A brilliant game of 5D chess, as I always said. This is epic. Uh, Elon Musk and X.com, right? They got a license to operate a crypto wallet beginning in Rhode Island. As we well know that right now, Ripple has a license in over 31 states. Uh, Elon is playing catch up. He has his first one in Rhode Island. Can you say X.com, XRP, XLM, XDC, X gets the square. Uh, lining up also very interesting on that. Cannot wait to see what comes out of that. Watch that one very closely. XRP did surge. Get this 1300%. This is why I'm bullish on the 30-minute charts with a record 4 point, not a record, but 4.4 million in volume. Boom, baby. It's so much fun to see us in the green today. Uh, E-Grad Crypto. I'm going to talk about some uh, um, short case, short term and long term. This is over from E-Grad Crypto as well. He's holding firm on that $27 price target. And then he says, once again, take any trend line that you want to talk about breaking out. He says the dollar twenty trend line is what we're looking uh, for that kind of like breakout atlas line at a dollar 30 and then uh, crypto sniper has it at a dollar 10 that we start to move off of the races and the gatekeeper will be that two dollar xrp what egrad notes with this before we start to go to valhalla and so yeah that's that where where we did not quite kiss it we tried to kiss it in the 2021 bull run while we were underneath an sec lawsuit mind you uh, but he says once that, then it is blue skies all the way up to $27. And you might question might be when, when you look at his charts, this is the worst case scenario, in my humble opinion, according to his TA. It says this actually does take us well into, let's call it the end of April. If that is the case, and that is the worst case, then we're talking about we need to hunker down, be prepared, write it out, accumulate wherever you can for the next eight months. Keep in line, we're not just going to go from 50 cents to $27, so we'll be kind of moving up the ladder as we start to reach that target by the end of April. And worth noting, once again, we'll grind sideways for about six months before that second part of that pump, the wave five, which should be about an 8x. So we're talking about my November of 2024. Say hello to a $200 XRP. This is just on FIB targets and the TA analysis from past historical performance and that only okay so that is beautiful to look at near term boy i am bullish beyond bullish beyond bullish and i'll tell you so many different ways and why i'm lining up hopefully i can adequately share and convey this my enthusiasm let's see what i got left for enthusiasm on my timer as the rain starts to come down here the pitter patter I got 90 seconds left of enthusiasm this year, in which case I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So if it will cooperate there, I'll just turn it off. So if I have two minutes of enthusiasm, let me just adequately just share this. One, okay, first thing that comes out that came out last night, which was like, it got me so excited, was Brad Garlinghouse, our leader at the helm, talking about how there was now going to be a proper party for XRP. September 29th. As soon as I heard that, thank you, Brent. Brent was the first person that sent that over to me uh, yesterday afternoon. And as soon as I heard that, man, my wheels got to turn it really quick. And I'm thinking the first thing that came to my mind is, what does Brad know that you and I don't know? 
my guess, my speculation only, he does know something, my friends, and you can only speculate. In my humble opinion, I've talked about it, that September settlement, SEC settlement. Jeremy Hogan talked about it here this last week. SEC throwing in the towel. There will be no trial for Brad and Chris Larson going forward. Notice how they have pivoted from crypto to AI, far as the SEC. Uh, different attorneys uh, stepping down. Maybe that's just coincidence, no big thing. But I would have to tend to agree that maybe they know, maybe they know that they've already working on the settlement. It's just a matter of when they announce it this month in September. We're not quite there. We only got today is the 29th. It is that day in UK when it all begins in London. It's, well, maybe it's starting a little bit. We're up about 6% on XRP, right? So anyway, so uh, do we get that settlement somewhere during the course of this month? And guess what else is in the Trumer Mill? In the Trumer Mill, we also have that it's possible that at that September 29th party that there could be an IPO announcement. OMG, people, we could see stuff rocketing up, not have to wait till the end of April. If this plays out that we get that settled, and then you have this party announcement, and they're talking about an IPO, things will be happening so extremely fast that not financial advice, in my opinion, XRP will absolutely rip. It will rip past all-time high. It will go into price discovery. Keep in mind that one thing that we know that Bank of America said that when we had a, that if they had a settlement, not clarity, a settlement, that they would flip the switch. To me, that sounds like the best is yet to come around the corner. You guys comment down below 110%. I want to know what you guys think. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.